What were the chances of life arising on its own? It's been speculated that probably there would have to be a minimum of about 250 proteins to provide a minimal life function. Um, if that's really true, uh, then I think it's, it's almost inconceivable that life could have happened in some simple step-by-step -step way. Okay, so the simplest form of life requires at least 250 proteins to function. What's so difficult about that? Welcome to the casino of life. Who wants to spin for a chance to win? Oh, sure. I'll give it a shot. What do I win? Take a look at this. Huh? How about the world's first single-cell organism? This perfectly aligned string of proteins could be yours. Now, take a spin. I won. <laughs> Tina, tell him how many times he needs to do that to win the prize. 250. That's right, folks. And all in the correct order. But that's impossible. <laughs> We've heard that before, haven't we, Richard? Come on, Mother Nature. Do your thing. You stupid machine! Oh, I hate you! We're talking about something that's staggeringly improbable. Roughly one in a trillion, 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 trillion. Let all of life choose a million, a trillion, a trillion, trillion. The number is z essentially zero. Something has to skew nature to choose the ones that work. So in the game of life, it looks as if the house always wins. Luckily, some serious scientific minds have figured out a way to beat the odds. Directed panspermia. When faced with the overwhelming problem of the origin of life, Nobel Prize winner Francis Crick proposed this theory, that life was seeded on Earth, which basically means aliens did it. Crystals? Aliens? I thought we were talking about science, not science fiction. <laughs>